In this video, we talk about combining queries using the union, intersect, and accept clauses. All right, so let's get into it. Let's say that we wanna see all of the countries that our customers are in, as well as all of the countries that our suppliers are in. So we wanna you know, basically stack or combine those two queries, those two select queries into one, one long column with all the countries for customers and suppliers. And that's what we're gonna do this instance here. So to do it, we're gonna use the union clause. So select country from customers union select so another select statement country from suppliers run that query and boom just like that we have a list of all the countries for customers as well as our suppliers now this is a distinct list so you're not going to see the same country uh, multiple times so this is the distinct countries when you com combine both of those queries versus, let's see, distinct. So there's, what was there, 25? And then if you just do con distinct, distinct country from customers, we see there's 21, and then from suppliers, we have 16, and so basically there's, what, four overlapping, or four new ones in our suppliers query compared to our customer's query, right? Hopefully that makes some sense. So let me put this back, customers, union, suppliers, F5, F25, all right. Now there's also union all, and this brings in not the unique distinct values, but you see that like Mexico is repeated twice. So this will list out every country for all customers and all suppliers. And so you see 120 here, whereas if you do the just the union, we get the distinct 25. So that's union and union all. Now also I wanna point out that you could bring in like city if you want to as well. City, city, F5, so boom. Now you got the country and the city and the unique uh, pairings of those two. So we were at 93 and of course we could do a union all, F5 and boom, you have 120. So we got a few more there. Um, also, you could, if you wanted to, come like pull in other fields. Like if you want to, for whatever region, reason, you wanna pull in region from the employees, employees table and merge it with the country from the customers table. Like maybe for some reason your database architect named it name the country field region or something that the names don't match, but you still want to combine them all. Maybe they are, they're all the same thing, but you could do that as well. So boom, just like that, we've merged the country and the region fields from the two different tables uh, with the union all. And of course we could do non-union all, which brings in the distinct values. Let me go ahead and kind of reset back to the country from suppliers all right now the next clause I want to talk to you about is intersect intersect and we'll run that real quick and so intersect is a list of the countries that are in both tables so there you if they're in both tables and you'll see them right here so this is all of the distinct countries in both tables uh, there's also distinct all and so you see there's duplicates in here now and all the same things apply, like you could do country and city or pull in a different name of a column from a different table or whatever else. You could go ahead and combine those queries using the intersect. And again, that's where there's the same value in both tables. Conversely, if you don't want the same value in both tables, you wanna see what's like missing or left out, you can do except. So here's a list of the countries that aren't in both tables right there. So we got nine countries that aren't in both tables. And then of course there's accept all, and there's all the countries, all their duplicates and all that other stuff. And again, same things apply. I could throw city in there um, and so on. So those are three ways you could go ahead and combine queries using the union, the intersect, 
and the accept clauses. Um, if you found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day.